After we've ordered items via a purchase order, the next step in the process is to receive the order. Follow the vendor navigator here. In the previous training video, we processed a purchase order. Now, we're going to receive items. We want to follow either the top choice or the bottom choice. If we receive the items prior to receiving the bill, then follow the top line. This happens in cases where a freight company drops off the items ordered along with a bill of lading, and you wait to receive the invoice to a later time. Here, when we receive the items along with the bill at the same time, we want to follow this path. Let's go in here. Let's receive the items we ordered in the previous training video. We ordered from Thomas Kitchen and Bath. When we bring in Thomas Kitchen and Bath, QuickBooks alerts us that there are purchase orders outstanding for this vendor. Do we want to receive against one or more of these orders? Yes. Click Yes, and QuickBooks shows you what purchase orders are outstanding. We want to receive against this purchase order. Click OK, and QuickBooks fills in all the items we ordered on this purchase order. If the items received were less than what we ordered, in other words, on purchase order number 40, we ordered 25 cabinets. If we can either edit the amount received here or the cost, if the cost comes in different. If we only have a partial shipment of 15, then QuickBooks will leave this purchase order open. And we can receive the additional 10 items later. Let's go ahead and receive all 25. And let's put in the reference number, which is their invoice number for this shipment. Their invoice number was 514. Click Save and Close. Now, let's look at our balance with Thomas Kitchen and Bath. Here you can see, now we owe them because they've delivered cabinets to us. We owe them $2,500.